So many books in the world, ain't no boy and no girl who could truly claim to read every one. So we told them to sit, gave them ten minutes to figure out the plots before the time is done. Now let's watch their last minute book report. My name is Nick Turner, the world's greatest Latin lover, and today I'm doing a book report on Charles Dickens, A Tale of Two Cities. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of... That's not even the whole sentence! <laughs> okay, I don't know anything about it. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness, it was the epic of belief, it was the epic of incredulity, it was the season of light. Is this book one sentence? Defarge? I'm guessing that's the lead character. Why is there so much description about the weather? Horse? Is the horse the star? Jacques Three? That's the guy's name? Was he a clone? It seems like it's like the Revolutionary War, but probably in France. Oh, I feel, I mean, I feel great. I'm gonna kill it. You know, I got a 1270 on my SATs, so that's not embarrassing. I believe it's a love story uh, set amidst uh, the French Revolution. It's fighting, there's troops trying to, um, quarter, trying to be quartered. The two cities are Paris and London. I believe Charles Dickens was from England, so he liked, he often wrote about his homeland. The name of the horse was Jacques III. Jacques III was the son of Jacques II, uh, who had disowned him, and uh, that's why Jacques III eventually died of sadness. They didn't do an autopsy, because it's a horse and it didn't really matter. Sidney Carton would describe himself as uh, very enigmatic, uh, hard to get a read on that guy. Everyone else would call him a narcissist. He would just call himself good looking. But Jerry Cruncher, that's a name. I don't, I'm confused by all these people's names. I think a lot of them are jokes. Like uh, Dickens was in a bar and they were like, hey man, wouldn't that be funny if you put a guy named Jerry Cruncher in your next book? The spilled wine obviously symbolizes blood and I think that's a little too easy for Dickens. When the wine is spilled, that means it's on. The French Revolution is on. Charles Darnay's secret is that he's actually related to Charles Dickens by first name. That's actually how he got in the book, because uh, he isn't that interesting of a character. At the end of the book, most of the people are dead, except for some of the main characters, and they merge the two cities for a while. But they realize there's too much distance between the cities and they can't really function using the same government. I would recommend this book to anyone who loves books that are way too long. Last